everyone, my name is Grace Safasi and welcome to the Duncan Avenue Apartments. We're so glad to have you here today joining us on this tour. So right behind me we're starting off with Harmon Parking Garage as you can see. This is where you're going to be parking right over here at the Harmon Garage Avenue entrance as you can see. Yeah and there's I think three big apartment uh, big parking lots on campus. There's Harmon, Garland and then the one at the Union. I happen to forget the name of that one, but I just call it the Union, the parking, union parking, garage. parking Garage. So yeah, there's three across campus. This is the southernmost one. Yes. So um, we are located right across the street from Harmon Parking Garage. And also we are south of the Engineering and Champion Hall, which is a lot of academic classes um, for STEM courses right here. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but how about we go ahead and take y'all inside and we'll show yeah. you some Spaces. Let's go look inside and there's a number of buildings that make up this apartment complex. I think there's five. Yes, that's right. A, B, C, D, and E. And that's e. Right. That, that's the one that comes after. Okay. All right, so welcome to the front desk. This is going to be the place where you can pick up all of your packages. And on our way to show you the room, we'll show you where you're going to get your mail. And then over to our right is actually um, one of our common area lounges. A waiting area if you ever need any assistance we'll just have you hang out over here um, while you're waiting at the front desk and we also have a small kitchenette area if you um, have any classes you want to take a lunch break and you would just hang out here not inside your room and so um, that is pretty much the first floor space so we'll head upstairs and show you our gym that's in the Duncan Avenue apartments I will point out that I noticed some uh, dollies there getting ready for move in and about 10 days yes that's right we're excited to have you all yeah we have about 10 people watching so be sure and let us know where you're uh, tuning in from and we'd like to say hello to you before you arrive in a couple days absolutely we're excited um if y'all have any questions go ahead and just throw them in the chat comment section um i'm gonna run make sure i don't run into this yes pole. yes um, <laughs> And we'll try and answer anything you have. I do want to stop here and let you know that behind me to our right, this is where you're going to have your mail. So you're going to have your suite key, your room key, and then also you'll get a mailbox key. And so that key will get you into your mail. And if you do have any smaller packages, we'll have um, a recipient key in your mailbox for you to grab that package. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna head upstairs to continue the tour. Uh huh. And this is um, one of the main ways to get to the gym. So we had uh, Kanisha pop in, and she was one of the first RAs at Duncan. Oh, She's hey. an alumni. We oh. always like to. In fact, it means a lot to us when the alumni come by. So thank oh. you. Yeah, thanks for joining us. So this is this is our gym area above the reception. Oops, falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I think Blast we got it there. For a second. No worries. So this is our main gym area. Unfortunately, we will be having this area closed off this fall due to COVID reasons, just to make sure that we're uh, maintaining the CDC guidelines. So we will. It's not open now, but it might be open later this year. We're not sure. If not, then certainly next year. Yes. So just stay. Um, Stay tuned with the CDC guidelines. We will be following those to just make sure that you all are kept safe. There's a lot of open space here. I really like how uh, it's laid out. Yeah, absolutely. So what's really beautiful about this area is just, just an overview balcony. So we're still on to the B apartments. So this is the B apartments. And this platform is a really nice overview um, all the way to our left. You can get a view real quick. Yeah, absolutely. So lots of green space. And what's really nice about this area is that these apartments are for upperclassmen only. And so it is um, a quieter environment. Um, so you'll get to meet your, um, your neighbors and everyone. And oftentimes you will find that they're all upperclassmen and they're trying to enjoy a quieter environment than the traditional freshman style halls. Right, and I will say, I, I've observed over the years that our our upperclassmen are really focused on their studies. Yes. Like they are pretty serious. 
So you can expect to be part of a pretty studious community. I mean, they party and they have a good time, but yes. pretty studious. Absolutely. And so I did want to talk about this really cool opportunity that we have this year, specifically for upperclassmen students. It's called Lead More. And so if any of you have done Lead Hogs in the past, it's an elevated leadership development opportunity specifically designed for upperclassmen students. And so if you haven't done Lead Hogs in the past, that's okay. You're still welcome to join. Um, but it's a really unique opportunity for you to get to meet other students who are interested in their own leadership development. I'm going to watch these stairs. Yeah, <laughs> keep, your, keep your eyes on the stairs. Um, and where are we going right now? We are actually headed down to the pavilion area, which is a really fun space to hang out. Um, obviously being socially distanced this year, but um, we are jumping right on to one of the bypass areas of the Razorback Greenway in Fayetteville, which is pretty unique because we are right on the outskirts of campus. And so you have access to this bypass and if you jump on it with your bike or if you're going on a run, you will have direct access to the Razorback Greenway, which is really exciting. That's about 30 something miles that go from Fayetteville, Arkansas, all the way up to Bentonville, Arkansas. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool experience. So we're passing over one of the bridges into the entrance of the pavilion area. And this is a really fun place that we've done s'mores and evening hangouts in the past. We do grill outs, cookouts and things like that. Obviously it's gonna look a little bit different this year because of COVID. Um, but we're still going to try and encourage all of you to come out here and be outside. Get out of your room, get out of your apartment for a little bit, and come enjoy this nice space that you have that's privately just for you all within the uh, Duncan Apartments. So. You hear the cicada? You hear the cicada? I do. It's really nice. It's, see, it's really calm out here. Um, if you don't like the outdoors, don't come out here. It's very <laughs> much in the nature. But yes. if you do, it's... It's really great. I see students come out here and just study all the time. Um, the fire pit and the grill are open access to our Duncan residents. And so that's one of the nicer perks about living in the um, apartment complex. Absolutely. Okay. So, so yeah, we're lots. We're going to head back over mm -hmm. and we're going to go to one of the rooms um, in one of the apartments. So we'll show you everything that you need to see. Oop, got a stick on me. And we're headed back on one of the bypasses and headed back to the B apartments. So if any of y'all that are tuned in, you're watching, we're headed to one of the apartments to show. So you, if you have any questions or need us to do any measurements, just put it in the comment section and we'd be happy to measure that out. Yeah, that's totally why we're here. So don't be shy at all. Just uh, ask us any pretty numbers you'd like once we're in, the, once, once we're in one of the apartments. That's right. So we're headed into B105 and all of our apartments are four bedroom and um, one or two bathroom options. Yeah, so when you go on the website, you'll see a slight price difference. And that price difference is in fact, whether it's one bathroom or two bathrooms. That's right. So um, every apartment is gonna have one of these lower um, storage areas. It's not room controlled or temperature controlled but a lot of students put their bikes or any sort of outdoor equipment into this area. And you can also bring your own lock um, to lock up any of your items that you have in here. You think we could uh, get it open? I don't I know, think it takes so. a, little bit, a little bit of elbow grease. Maybe yeah, it's that's great. Right. Got it? There you go. Okay. So it's a little shed mm -hmm. and um, it's a great, Great space. Um, I'm very much of an outdoorsy person, so having a space like this is really nice. There we go. Got it? Yep. Got it. Store my bike and everything like that. Yeah, great place to store your bike. For we're sure. going to go ahead and head on in, and we're going to meet my co host for today. Hello, co host. How are you? Welcome to Duncan. My name is Camila, and I am one of the graduate assistants for housing. Great to meet you, yeah. Nice to meet you too. How many people do we have watching? We have about 16 people who are tuning in, 16 people tuning in right now who uh, are interested to see what an apartment looks like in Duncan Avenue. Perfect. Well, take a look. Yeah. Let me give a good uh, pan real quick. Absolutely. So over to your right, what you're seeing is the living room area. All of the furniture. 
furniture in this living room area is movable within the apartment complex. And so you can organize it to whatever your preference is. And then right over here is the kitchen. It is a fully equipped kitchen with the fridge, stovetop, <clears throat> excuse me, oven, microwave, and dishwasher. And you also have um, a small table, lunch table with it. So. And this is, um, you may know this already, but it's a fully furnished apartment. So everything you yes. see here comes with it. That's right, which is really awesome. So you, you don't have to bring a giant U-Haul to bring all of your stuff in for move-in. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you the first floor of this apartment and what it comes with also is a washer and dryer unit and the location of these may differ based on um, which apartment you enter but all of them will have access to the laundry, the laundry room within each apartment. So the current space we're in now has the um, bathroom on the first floor so you can feel free to come on in. Do you mind pulling back that curtain? Absolutely. There you go. So full shower, bathroom and everything. This one's ADA it looks like maybe. Yes. Uh, most of the ones on the first floor um, are ADA accessible. Americans with disabilities. Yes. bedrooms on this floor and um, they also all come with movable furniture are we going to show one of the I think we're going to go to the one upstairs yeah and then we did have a question that came in that might yeah. be able to, someone might be able to help with julia asks can you show one of the 200 s upper apartments i noticed the kitchen is different uh, mm -hmm. and i don't know exactly about i don't know that this facility well enough to answer that one do you know so the kitchen it's almost the same um we can show one of the 200 apartments, um, but you know, you're gonna see that the kitchen, it's very, very similar. Can you describe the difference? Um, we can go upstairs if you okay, want. Okay, okay, well yeah, yeah sure. If you, Julia wants to, we're happy to do yeah. it. Um, and then Christy asks us, can we measure the bedroom window for curtains? And let's go upstairs and look at that. Yeah, we'll do that. And Julia, um, the difference with those, honestly, you're gonna see some that, may, that have um, a countertop because the entrance is gonna look different. Yes. And so the layout might look different. And we have a lot of those dimensions on the housing website, specifically for the Duncan dimensions. Um, Christopher, what's that website? Uh-huh. Housing.uart.edu? Or movein.uart.edu? That's right. So we have the second bathroom on this particular apartment complex. Can you pull back the shower curtain? Yeah. The shower looks maybe slightly smaller up here, but. This is how most showers look like. Oh, okay, okay. Commode and then sink area. All right, and now we're gonna enter into one of the rooms. And so like I said before, all the furniture is movable. And so you can organize your room to whichever configuration you prefer. Um, We'll go ahead and do the measurements for Julia of the window. Yeah, we're looking for the, uh, the measure of the bedroom windows for curtains. Awesome. So, you got it? I think. Here we go. This is for Christy. So, 62. 62. And 62, so a square. Yeah. Okay. We've got a square. Um, and as far as mounting curtains, let's see, what would we recommend? Um, I've seen a lot of people do the 3M command strips that have uh, a larger hook. And so mm -hmm. that way you can pull a bar on the top, like a shower curtain bar, or if you do want to buy uh, a standard um, rod that goes on top, just measure the dimensions and then do it to what you'd prefer. But Typically, that's just the easiest way to do it, and so that whenever you leave, you can just pull them right down pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Can we see the uh, the patio? Yeah. Cool. The pester was just the, 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 the really good thing to see. So, oh, sorry, every apartment comes with an outdoor patio, which is really nice. Um, you 
We do not have outdoor furniture, but you're welcome to bring your own. Um, I see a lot of students out here with their plants, their garden. They love, love this space, especially if you have a green thumb. If you don't have green thumb, that's okay. I'm sure you can meet some friends that can help you out. Maybe get you an indoor succulent or a cactus or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice view. And um, this is pretty standard. All of the first floor apartments also have um, an outdoor patio. It's just a concrete area. And then that's the designated space for you. Yeah. Um, Angel asked if we can show the other bedroom on this floor. Absolutely, we yeah. sure can. Can we actually go in through? Um, I think I it's so locked. It's, it's locked, okay. Yeah. So I will just show you around. Mm -hmm. So the other bedroom has the same furniture and you can configure it whichever way you like. Um, obviously all the furniture is in a different space within this room but um, you can move the desk and drawers and everything else around. You do have an armoire in every room, and then you have your um, five drawer dresser. Okay, and so then armoire there. Mm -hmm. And then you have your desk, and then you also have a nightstand table that you can either keep with your desk, or I've seen a lot of students put right next to their bed um, for their phone charger and everything like that for a lamp. Nice, so. and then and then this dresser as well. So plenty of places to keep stuff. Yeah. Do y'all have any other questions or anything else we can uh, measure for you while you're with us? Uh, Juliet asked about the 200 S's. Uh, is that something we can go look yeah. at? Yes. Okay. Is that pretty easy to get to? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will follow you then. Julia, you are taking us on an adventure. <laughs> Let's do it. Love it. We love the engagement. <laughs> apartments they only have one bathroom and the 100 apartments they have two bathrooms oh I didn't even know that, that was the designation mm -hmm. I'm learning things today I learned so this is 205 Head on in. All right, and so what you're going to see the difference is we're here immediately. You're going to see this countertop for the dimension difference with the kitchen. I think it was Julia. Uh -huh. Yeah, yep. that's right. That's right. So I'm going to get out of your way to see that part. So you got to have a big bar right there. So same, same basic setup, but it does have that additional um, bar right where the door is. Yeah, and then um, any other questions that you might have? Do you want to go ahead and we'll show a bathroom and a, um, a room upstairs as well? We Will it be the same as, it'll be the same it as everyone else? Yeah, it's the okay. same configuration. It doesn't need a little bit different. Yeah. Okay, if it's a little bit different, okay. Yeah. All right, why not? Let's do it. Let's, let's go. <laughs> this before but all of the floors in Duncan Avenue apartments they're all wood floors and then the bathrooms are all tile oh nice so the configuration up here is you have all of the personal rooms up here and then all the common space on the first floor oh. so you have two rooms on your left and then you'll have the two rooms here right and then the bathroom is going to look a little bit different. And as you can see, you'll share a main vanity sink area. But then what's the difference is that you'll each, almost like a suite, you get your own bathroom and shower area. And are there two of those? Yes, there's one on each side. Okay. So, there we go. All right. Okay. That's well, cool. yeah. Excited for a... Uh, 
move in in a couple days. Yes. And uh, anything you might encourage your upperclassmen who are arriving no, that's... to do? They know what they're doing anyway. Yeah, I mean, they don't we... know what to do, but I'd just say, you know, relax, enjoy the last few days that you have before the school year starts. Um, it is going to be, you know, an interesting time with COVID during a pandemic. And so we understand that. Um, we're here to support you. And so just know we're all in this together. We're going to figure it out. And we're here to keep you guys safe. So. Very good. All right. Well, if you don't mind, just wave and we'll say goodbye. Yeah, that's right. So thank you everyone for joining us today. That concludes our tour. If you have any other questions, please just go ahead and email us at housing.uart.edu and we will figure it out and answer all of your questions. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today and I hope you have a good rest of your day. We'll see you soon.